name is Victor Mirzai. I am a professor and department head of the Architectural Design and Construction Technology Program here at Delgado City Park Campus. When the students uh, come to Delgado and finish our program, they will be getting a two-year associate of applied science. Uh, this degree will help them out in terms of getting uh, into the employment force. I would say 90% of our students upon completion of the two-year program will go into the workforce. The other 10% 10 10 will be transferring to universities to get their baccalaureate degree. My name is Gabriel Lacombe. I chose the architecture at Delgado because I like to create and build things. My name is Mai Tran. Uh, I'm a student at Delgado Community College and I chose the architectural design field just in, due to the fact that they need us in the field. Hi, my name is Christy Battinger. I chose um, architecture because I really enjoy design and I, I enjoy um, doing a lot of hands-on work too in construction. Um, I just like the whole idea of building and, and the whole thing that goes along with the design of homes and everything. Uh, we tend to cater to students. Uh, cater to them in terms of understanding where they come from and be able to work with them very closely and to make them successful uh, while they're in school and even at the time that they graduate and move on. I work for Broadmoor Design Group in Metairie, Louisiana and uh, my project title is Project Architect for the Design Group. Students here in the architectural program, um, I would tell them that the program here um, rates just as good as I feel as any other uh, university program and uh, I feel that the program here you get a little bit more personal treatment uh, for each and every student by the, by the professors here. Uh, my name is Joe Barbarin. Um, I'm a graduate of Delgado Community College, uh, class spring of 1998, and uh, my degree is in architectural engineering construction design. I would tell a student uh, or suggest to the student that uh, if you decide to come into this program, dedication, time, patience, because this program really requires you to have a little patience. And um, I would tell them at the end of the program, it would definitely pay off. Um, I actually started out in the drafting program here. I didn't, wasn't even aware that there was an architectural program. And once I came, then I discovered the architectural and transferred over to architectural after that point. I continued on to Tulane University after here. And I would have really don't think I would have ever gotten into Tulane without my Delgado background. Uh, we have several professional organizations that uh, we have student chapters and our students become very involved with these professionals which are architects, engineers, contractors. Delgado, um, I've hired students both since I've graduated from Tulane and Delgado going back to recruit and just your, two, your Tulane graduate just to me I don't care for them fresh out as much as I do a, two, a Delgado student. A Delgado student is more more of a hands-on. Yes, I do keep in touch with uh, some of the students I've been with and uh, we also actually kind of help one another. I um, know a couple of guys who are in uh, general contractors and they will call and see if I can help them out with a price for roofing. So uh, that does work out and also we get together every now and then to just go out and have a, you know, a little talk and catch up on old times. The Gato graduates definitely hold their own among other graduates. Uh, I have been working in the architectural field for 21 years and I am an architectural project manager and I work side by side with major uh, architects that have come from all different universities in, in the country and I feel that um, the education here will enable you to do that with the right program and the right uh, source of um, employment you can achieve a very good um, working profession. Our students attend the trade shows both locally as well as nationally. Our students tend to compete in national conventions with other colleges and universities uh, and even with professionals which a good example was construction. Um, our student organization is involved in a lot of things. Um, the construction, um, there's a lot of trade shows that we go to just overall things in the community. We do a lot. Um, we have a lot of speakers that come in. It just seems like there's always something to do. Yes, they call me the can man. 
I do not know why, just due to the fact that I was the project manager. I was as well as um, getting everything for K Instruction. I had a great team. Um, but we did win uh, honorable mention. K Instruction was a way for, um, for us to, it, it was mainly a food drive was what the basis of it was, but it was also a creative way to to, um, to do a food drive. Uh, students and architecture firms around the area um, gathered canned goods and we created a, something out of it, a design. Um, and then we were judged on the best design and a couple of other categories and then all of that food then gets donated to Second Harvesters. So it was a very creative food drive that they did. Being one of the older colleges and one of the bigger um, community colleges around, uh, and also having professors that actually, again, work with you. Uh, here are a lot of professors that work with you that try to help you out. The Gato is, is a nice place to be. It's a great atmosphere, and you want to be here 24-7. My name is Marshall Martinez. I graduated in spring of 2016. I have a degree in an associate's in architecture and associate's in computer-aided drafting and design. I was looking for a university for school to go to, and I really didn't have a lot of choices, you know, I had to pay everything out of pocket at first. And Delgado was just convenient at that time and moment, you know, and then I figured out that they had an architecture program. I was always interested, very interested in architecture. Uh, actually, it was, it was luck that, I, that they had it here. Delgado gave me that working mentality, gave me that, that oh, you got to go to work, you know, you got to every day put, you know, 100% all the time best of your work every day. They prepare you to work, not just show you how to work, they teach you to work, you know, and that's, that's very important. My name is Christy Battinger. I graduated Delgado with my associate's degree in 2006, and I'm currently working at Holly and Smith Architects. I've always loved architecture, but I was working full time. I had a good job, it paid well, good benefits and everything, so I was a little hesitant to just stop my life and go ahead and just pick up and start an architecture um, degree. What happened was I started searching around locally and I found that Delgado offered a program to where I could still work. I could kind of just like test the waters of architecture. I could see, you know, well, is this really what I want to do? Do I want to give up this, this path that I'm on right now to go ahead and, and get into architecture. So that's what I, essentially I did was I was able to still work. I worked um, almost full time and then was taking classes and graduated with my degree in architecture and the rest is history. My name is Carl Pfefferly. I plan on graduating fall 2017, so the end of this year. And currently I'm working at Kellett Lumber as an estimator. Well, I was actually pretty much changing my career and decided to get into the architecture as it was always uh, a dream of mine uh, to study architecture. And their program offered a two-year program with which I could do that in and get back into the workforce as fast as possible. Well, when I initially graduated from high school, I had thought of going into architecture. I ended up graduating in international studies from college for my first degree. And as there was not a lot of opportunity in that career in international studies here in New Orleans, I decided to go into architecture because if you look around, there is plenty of opportunity in the field of architecture and building and construction in New Orleans. Uh, as far as Delgado is concerned, so obviously it's right here in the city. It offers a very good two-year program to where you can, it prepares you to go into the field as fast as, pop, as possible and to start working. And to be completely honest, the education you get in this architecture program is the same type of education that you'll be getting in an LSU program or even a Tulane uh, program, probably a little bit watered down as it's a shorter program. But Professor Mirzai went to both of those schools, has his master's degree from Tulane, and he takes what he learned and brings it to the class. 
So the program is really a top-notch program. You really learn a lot. He is available, and then of course you you uh, are able to bond with other students. But also, there are plenty of people who have come through Delgado and now are working in, uh, professionally in the field. So you have contacts directly right when you get out of school. And Professor Mirzai, besides that, knows plenty of contacts out there in the field from his time as an architect. So he can also introduce you to other people out in the professional world.